the area of a sector like this, we need to know how many degrees are inside that sector. So how many degrees there are here. At the moment, we only know there are 145 degrees outside the sector. We also know that in a full circle, there are 360 degrees. So if I subtract 145 from a full circle of 360, it will leave me with the number of degrees inside the sector. Okay, so 360 degrees minus 145 degrees is 215 degrees. Okay, so they are the number of degrees inside our sector. So now we can work out the area of the sector. We need to find out what fraction of a full circle this sector is, and we can do that by using the degrees. Because we know there are 215 degrees in our sector, and in one full circle, there are 360 degrees. So there is our sector as a fraction of one full circle. So now, all we need to do is multiply that fraction with the area of one full circle. Okay, and remember, to work out area of a circle, you do pi multiplied by the radius squared, and the radius is just the distance from the centre of the circle to the circumference. So it's been given to us in this question, the radius is 12. So I'm going to multiply by pi, and then I'm going to multiply by 12 squared. Okay, so that is the calculation to work out the area of the sector. If I put this in my calculator, and I press equals, I get 86 pi. So that's the answer, but you only leave your answer like that if it asks you for your answer in terms of pi. But it doesn't ask us to do that in this question. And in the exam questions today, I'm going to round to three significant figures. So if I press the SD button, it turns it into its decimal number form, and it gives me 270.176 dot dot dot. And remember, I'm rounding to three significant figures, so one, two, three, and the one doesn't round the zero up. So I'm just left with 270. Don't forget the units for area, they're always squared. And because the radius is in centimetres, the area is in centimetres squared. So there's the answer to the first one. we have to work out the length of the arc AB, which is just this distance here, okay? So this is just part of the circumference. If you imagine this sector as a full circle, okay, it's just a little section of what would be the circumference. So we need to use this formula here in this question. Circumference equals pi multiplied by the diameter. And remember, the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle, okay? So here we've been given the radius, so in order to work out the diameter, we would need to double that distance there. So we need to multiply the number 25 by 2. Okay, so I can just jot that down because I'll need that later. So the diameter is 50 centimetres, okay, if we imagine this sector as a full circle. Now, just like in the first example, we need to work out how much of a circle this sector is. So we need to find out what fraction of a full circle it is using degrees. So we already know inside the sector there are 38 degrees. So there are 38 degrees out of 360. Remember, it's always out of 360 because a full circle always has 360 degrees. And then all that's left is to multiply this fraction with the formula for the circumference. So we have to multiply by pi, and then multiply by the diameter, which we worked out earlier, which is 50. So when I put that in the calculator, I get 95 over 18 pi. So that's the answer in terms of pi. But we have to round to four significant figures in this question. So when I press the button on my calculator that turns into a decimal, so the SD button on mine, it gives me 16.5806 and to round to four significant figures, one, two, three, four, but the fifth figure, well it's zero, so it doesn't change the eight, okay? So I'm just left with 16.58. Now remember, in this question, it's arc length, so it's a distance, so the units are just 
centimetres in this one because the radius was given in centimetres. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so in this question, we are told that the perimeter is 20.5 centimetres and from that we need to work out the radius. So, to make things a little bit easier, I've just redrawn the diagram like this. So I've cut the three sectors apart, rearranged them, and redrawn them as just one complete sector. And remember, the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. So all of these sides added together. So this length here, hopefully you can see, this is the length of the radius, okay? If you imagine the full circle, that would be the radius. And so that's what we're trying to work out. And I'm just going to call that R. And likewise, over here, this is also R. Now, for this part here, this curved part, it's like one of those exam questions earlier. We need to work out what fraction of a circle this sector is. And then with that fraction, we multiply by the circumference of one circle to find the length of the arc. So we need to know how many degrees there are in total inside the sector first. So as you can see, there are three lots of 65. So 365s are 195 degrees. So that's how many degrees are inside the circle. So now we can form an equation, okay? Perimeter, remember we're adding the sides together. So we've got this straight edge here, so R, plus this straight edge here, another R, plus this curved arc. And remember, just like earlier, you need to write what fraction of a circle the sector is in terms of degrees. So we've got 195 degrees out of 360. And remember, it's always out of 360 because in one full circle, you have 360 degrees. And so then we multiply by the circumference of one full circle because circumference is like perimeter, okay? And for circumference, you multiply pi by the diameter. So we can multiply by pi the diameter, well, it's going to be in terms of r. Remember, the diameter is double the radius. You have to multiply the radius by 2 in order to find the diameter. So if I do 2 multiplied by r, I just get 2r. So we're multiplying by 2r. And remember, to use this bit of information here, the perimeter is 20.5. So those three edges added together equal 20.5. And now we have an equation with only one unknown, r. So we can solve this equation to find the radius. So 1r plus 1r is 2r. This, well, if you multiply those together, just stays the same. If you, if you like, you don't have to write the time signs. You could just write 2 pi r there. Okay, I'm just tidying it up a little bit. Now, we have an r term here and one over here. So I need to factorise. I need to factor out that common letter R. So remember, factorise means putting into brackets. So you take out the common factor R, and then inside the brackets, well, here is just 2, because R times 2 gives me 2R. And then I need to multiply R by everything that R is being multiplied by up here. So this fraction, and then 2 pi. Okay, and remember they're being multiplied together when they're next to each other, it just means multiply. So if I expand those brackets, it gives me exactly the same thing as what I had up here. Okay, so we're just factorising because we need to separate the R from everything else in order to solve the equation. Not forgetting equals 20.5 because there's an equation here that we're solving. Now, R is being multiplied by everything that's inside the brackets. So our job is to do the opposite, and the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I need to divide both sides of the equation by this bracket. Well, when I divide the left-hand side of the equal sign by this bracket, it just cancels, and I'm left with R. And then on the right-hand side, well, I need to divide that 20.5 by all of what's inside the bracket. So you can leave it all grouped together, and then you can put that all in the calculator in one go, as a time is there. Okay, so when I put that in the calculator, I get 
3.7939. And again, I'm going to round to three significant figures. So one, two, three, and the three doesn't round the nine up. So I'm just left with 3.79. And because it's the radius, it's a distance, so it's just in centimetres. Okay. okay, so in this final question, we need to work out the value of k. All that we've been given is the arc length up here, which is 6 pi, and the radius, which is 9. The area is just written in terms of k, is k pi, okay, but we don't know what k is. So, to begin with, I'm going to look at this arc length since I know what the arc length is. So to work out arc length usually, you need to know how many degrees are inside the sector. Well, we don't know how many there are in this question, so I'm just going to call them x. And to work out the arc length, you take that number, x, and you write it out of 360. Because remember, you need to work out what fraction of a circle this sector is in terms of degrees, okay? So, so it's like x degrees over 360 degrees. And this arc length is just a part of what would be the circumference, if you imagine the whole circle. Circumference is just pi multiplied by diameter. So you have to multiply the fraction, just like in the example from earlier. Multiply that with pi, and then multiply that with the diameter of what would be the whole circle. Well, we know the radius is 9, and to work out diameter, you multiply the radius by 2. So 2 multiplied by 9 is 18. So I have to multiply by 18. And that will give you the arc length. And the arc length, we actually know that, it's 6 pi. So you have to put that calculation equal to 6 pi. So we can actually solve this equation to find the value of x. Okay, because x is the only unknown in this equation. And I'm just going to start by cancelling out pi. Okay, if I divide both sides of the equation by pi, I'm just left with 1. Okay, so I can cancel those out first. So that means I'm left with x over 360 times 18 equals 6. So we're just solving a linear equation to find x. So we need to undo everything around x and do the opposite. So the opposite of multiplying by 18 is to divide by 18. And if I divide by 18 on one side, I must do the same on the other. On the left hand side, if I divide 18 by itself, I'm just left with one. So we're left with one lot of x over 360. And on the right hand side, well, if I do six divided by 18, I get a fraction that I can simplify to one third. Okay, so if you put that in the calculator, you should get one third. So one more thing to do, the opposite of dividing by 360 is to multiply. Remember to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. This side where you do the opposite, it just cancels and you're left with x. And on the right hand side, well if you multiply a third with 360, you're left with 120. So the number of degrees in this sector here are 120. So hopefully now we can work out the value of k. So this time we need to look at area of the sector instead of arc length. So to work out area of a sector, hopefully you remember from earlier, you have to write down the number of degrees, so 120 out of 360, okay, because that tells you how much of a full circle this sector is. Then, because we're working out area, and remember area of a circle is pi r squared, you have to multiply that fraction by pi r squared. Okay, so we multiply this fraction by pi, and then we multiply by the radius squared. And we know the radius, the radius is 9, so I have to multiply by 9 squared. And remember, the area was given to us here. It's k pi. So this calculation that works out the area of the sector should be equal to k pi. So you need to put that equal to k pi. And now we're trying to solve this equation to find k. So just like before, I can cancel out the pi on both sides of that equation. So I'm dividing by pi on both sides. 
120 over 360 is just the same as one third, so I can simplify that fraction. 9 squared is 9 times 9, which is 81, and it's just equal to the letter K. So the final step, well, 1 third times by 81 is just the same as 81 divided by 3, which is 27. So we found K. Okay, so there's the answer. So don't worry if the question looks a bit different to other questions you've seen. You're just using knowledge from other topics that you've done previously. For example, you know how to work out arc length, you know how to work out area of a sector, and hopefully you know how to solve equations as well. So get stuck in and have a go, and I'm sure you'll be able to figure them out. Anyway, so that's all from me for today, and goodbye.